Hey everybody, how's it going? For Crown 88 coming out with a YouTube video, and it's a goal scoring video. I'm going to be doing a couple of different goals. How to use the toe drag to score goals off of just toe drag shots and toe drag deeks. I'm going to give you a couple of looks at both, and then also another goal on coming behind the net, not just the wrap. How can you come behind the net on your forehand to score a really easy goal? I'll give you a couple of looks at that and a couple of attempts on that there just to show you what I do, what I'm looking for, and, and where you would like to shoot the shot and how you would aim your stick. I do got the backdrop up, so it'll have the checkered board where you don't see any grid. That is where the goalie blocks. And then you'll have the red circle. That red circle is... The goalie is blocking that puck's line of sight to the net. When you see the green circle, that's a clear shot from the puck to the net. The goalie would have to move to make the save. So when you're when you're in practice mode doing everything, I would say you turn that on. That way, when you are shooting the puck or you're looking at shooting the puck, you have a good understanding of where the goalie is, what's covered and what's not. And you're going to see that in this video because I have the grid on the entire time. And then also at the end, I attempt a Michigan it took about five minutes with uh, with Austin Matthews to get the Michigan, which was nice because I tried it the other day on stream and uh, I needed Trevor Zegers to do it, but I kind of got a feel for it. I will talk about the Michigan a little bit during the video clips of me scoring the goal and uh, afterwards on the outro. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. I hope these goals help you score in uh, in NHL, as uh, as I always hope everything I uh, everything I bring up to you guys helps you out tremendously. And if it does, hit that in the comment section down below. If these goals are something you're doing, hit that comment section down below. Or if you haven't know what to do them, and if there's something I can help you with, don't be shy. Hit that in the comment section down below, and I will help you. I try to answer every single comment I get. But guys, let's get into some of these goals. I'm gonna be doing a voiceover, so you might notice that maybe it's a little bit hit or miss. But uh, but I hope you do enjoy it. Let's get into it. So as you can see here, like I said in the intro, I will be using Austin Matthews. Um, we're just going to get in with a quick little toe drag here. I'm going to show you the example of the grid and the green circle in the back. That there is us pulling the toe drag, which if you don't know, you go forehand and you half moon it. You roll your thumbstick, your right thumbstick back, and then you will release a shot right there at that opening. I just showed you here, I wanted to show you that, and then here is a goal version of that. I just wanted to show you an example of the empty net, and then now performing it, where I come in, toe drag, the goalie drops down into the butterfly here, which is opening up the far side, because when he gets down into the butterfly, he's slower to react to the wide angle. That is your biggest goal. Your biggest goal is to get the goalie down into the butterfly, and that is why the toe drag is so effective, because when you when you move that stick, he drops down into the butterfly, making him delay, as you see here, and the puck goes in the back of the net. Now I'm gonna give you a, another visual here on that, and that is just coming under the glove. Toe drag, he gets over, but we keep the shot low, getting it right under the glove for a perfect toe drag release, <laughs> and uh, under the glove, over the pad, you see him tuck that pad in kind of just goaltending in NHL 23. When he goes down to the butterfly, he tightens everything up when that's the exact opposite what you want to see a goalie do. You want to see goalies get big. And I hope NHL 24, they make goalies get big instead of this in tight reserved. Now, you're going to see me move forehand, backhand here. And that's moving the grid around, showing you the dark blue is the holes opening up. That toe drag, you see it absolutely frees the goalie when I toe drag that. And that, that's just something I wanted you to be aware of. That's where that grid comes in handy, is when you toe drag it, it opens it up. And this is a deke where you're toe dragging and you're going against the grain. I'm going to show you that here. Toe drag, and instead of going shot, I'm pulling it against the goalie's momentum for a wide open net. And that is something you guys could utilize as well when you're toe dragging just pulling against the grain. Here's the forehand wrap around the net. You're looking for a far, shy, far side shot. So you're gonna see that green light up. That's all open net here. All the way around, the goalie does not have the speed to get over there. It doesn't matter what goalie you're playing in hut. Again, here we go. They do not have the speed to get over there. That's just a couple of versions of that. Again, one more time, we're gonna come all the way around. And it's just over and over and over again, guys. That'll be the easiest goal to score. Perfect for squad battles if you're struggling. Now, here's the Michigan. You're going to click. You're going to move to forward forehand. And you're going to click the right thumbstick in as you hold L1. 
and that's how you do it. But you got to, when you, when you roll the thumbstick, you got to do it really slow. If you do it too fast, right, when I do it right here, too fast, it'll shoot off your stick right there. You need to roll the thumbstick slow to get it up and put it in the back of the net. Again, it's all lining and practice, but that's what practice mode's good for. Now, it, I did want to take this time. When I say roll the stick, I do want, I, I should pop it up on the screen, but I, I don't know how. When I say roll the stick, this is rolling the stick. That's your half moon. Your, we can call it an under half moon or an over half moon. There would be no reason to over half moon. That's a face off move when you over half moon, when you go from nine o'clock to three o'clock. But when you are doing the Michigan or a toe drag, you're going from, depending on hand, left or right player, you're going from forehand and you're toe dragging it down to a release. So you're going from nine o'clock down to six o'clock and you're shooting it forward for the toe, toe drag release shot. And that is nine to six to 12. That is how you do that wrist shot. And then the Michigan, you're gonna go forehand and you're gonna click in, you're gonna hear it. Clicking in on the thumbstick, you're gonna hold your left bumper or L1 if you're on PlayStation and you roll that thumbstick ever so slowly. Too slow, he won't pick up the puck. Too fast, the puck will just slide off the stick. So it, so it is a finesse game. It's something you gotta work with. It's something you gotta, you gotta get in practice mode and try out. And until you get really good at it, doing it in a game is going to be really hard now i have had a lot of people tell me that doing it in motion is easier you don't have to hold the l2 to skate backwards when you get that fluid bend of the stick to pop it up the player will naturally go backwards for you and you'll be able to pop it up into the michigan i have heard doing it in motion is easier so mess around with that see what's easier for you but that is the video guys on how to score goals. I do really hope that it helped. Um, I have done other videos in the past. Check them out. They're not like that. They're different goal styles, easier goal styles. Um, the toe drag is a little bit more advanced, but not crazy advanced. We're going to get into, ex we're going to get into great setup plays later on throughout the year that you could start practicing and getting ready for NHL 24. But that's just getting a little bit outside of basic goals. And then the wrap is just a nice little easy forehand wrap. Now, you don't need to wrap it all the time. If you do have a guy on the far post, you can just pass it across for a one tee. But I do hope this guy helps you score goals, squad battles, online, hut champs, everything. But until next time, ciao, ciao.